Everybody, welcome back to the shed. Quick video to show you. I've been uh, been working on it. Been planking the nacelle. I've got it about two thirds of the way done. Couldn't do it all because I got to put the bottom sheet on yet, the lower sheet on the wing. I wanted to get a picture or video of the uh, cowling in question on it or wrapped on it. Obviously, it's going to stick out a little bit, but there's not going to be any problem with that the cowling. I mean, it might be slightly bigger, but I really don't see a problem with that. But uh, I've been planking, like I said here, about two-thirds planked. I haven't sanded it yet or anything. Plus, I've been working on the flaps, going back to uh, making those hinges on the plans. I'm going to go ahead and use them. I've got the block for the back here. I've got to reshape that some more. Got it pretty much ready to go. Just got to shape the sides. But I want to show you the flaps I made, the hinges. Um, you remember, this is what one of the flap hinges looked like. This is one of the aileron hinges. Um, that's the aileron. That actually goes on the aileron. This one goes on the plane. That goes on the plane. They, uh, I've got the flap the uh, hinges for the flap already made. And this is how they want you to connect it with a half of these Robart barrel hinges on a clevis. But let's take a look at it, see if I can flip it over here. I don't have them on yet, but I got it. See if I can flip it over without smashing it into a hundred pieces. I got my radio out. It's kind of hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Uh, let's see how we can do it. Get over there without breaking, big boy. Okay. You know the hinges. This is hinge one. I got them marked, but they're going to go. The hinges are going to go one here, two, third one here, fourth one here. So they're going to sit roughly like this. If you can see it or not. But while you talk about a mess fidgeting with it and trying to come up with shims and six inches, I'm down to using cardboard and paper trying to get it all hinged out. But here's the the flap. It's not sanded well yet. It's just just wanted to show you the little hinge points on the end of it. I ended up making all four of those. I uh screwed all four of those together and made all four at one time but I got a lot of sanding to do so I don't think that's a finished product yet but it'll sit in there like that if I can hinge one of these gonna, I'll make another video where I got it all hinged and everything but that's going to sit in there like this and then this is going to hinge off of that just about like that does actually look pretty neat when it rolls out and then uh, that's how it's basically going to sit like that my servo is going to go right here and the push rod is going to come out here and there's a block if you remember there's a block in here that this barrel is going to go into and then that's going to give us our uh, our flap operations so today what I plan on doing is getting the uh, servos which I just bought nine servos off of eBay went and got these these are those uh, high-tech this HS425 the VVs the uh, better ones I've never had a problem with them I can't remember what I paid for them but I got nine of them they were buy three get one free I don't remember what it was but I got them off of eBay and then I'll t get one high torque one for the uh, horizontal stabilizer but those are the servos I'm going to use so like I said today I'm going to mount my servo I'm going to get the push rod ready to go I'm going to mount this get all these shimmed up oh it was using paper to try to shim them to get it to roll right get them to line up you can't put the sheet on because obviously you got to epoxy them to the inner rib so you got to lay a sheet on it, you got to keep messing with it, but the next video I'll have, I'll have it on there and hopefully I have it working. I want to get this moving and working so I can get my uh, second sheet on the back here 
and I'm still waiting for my wheels to come. I ordered them thinner wheels, if you remember from the last video. The ones that I had were too thick, and I bought thinner ones that should allow the, the retrax to lay right down in there. I'm going to work on the wheel well hub today, get my servo mounted here, and hopefully get this to where I can get it to move. be nice to see it move. I got a lot of sanding on it, some filling to do and this and that, but that's where we're at. So I think those cowlings are going to work out just perfect. I will probably, I'm hoping to have this wing done by the middle of next week. And hopefully the next wing doesn't go as slow because I've already built, you know, I have all this under my belt. So I'm open. But I just wanted to post a video to show you I'm still alive and still working on the plane. But uh, if you guys got any comments or questions, just let it happen. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.